Hello and welcome to the second video in this series looking at programming NS Task on OS X. If you can hear knocking sounds in the background, there are builders building yet again. It's been going on for months now. I don't understand what they're actually doing. There's no skyscraper outside. Um, I'm sorry about the knocking sounds. There's not a lot I can do about it. Um, in this video, we're going to actually build up the GUI. I like to keep the videos sort of relatively short um, and concise. So in this video, we'll just be setting up the GUI and we'll actually dive into the NS task stuff in the following video. So I'm just going to do an Xcode, go file, new and project here. And I'm making the assumption, to be honest, that you're slightly familiar already with Xcode in this series. It's not a tutorial series about setting up a GUI. I'll explain a little bit, but the assumption is you're already fairly familiar. So down the, in the template section here under OS X and application here, selected Cocoa application, click next. I'm just going to give it a name of NS task tutorial and click next. And then I can already hit enter to create this in uh, the default folder. I'm using, as you'll probably notice here, Xcode 5. I wish I hadn't changed to Xcode 5 because I must have 5 to 10 crashes a day programming in Xcode 5. And also I think it looks quite frankly terrible compared with the previous one. It's um, particularly in the interface builder, it's a lot harder to see the separation between the various objects and things. It was much, much easier in the previous version. It reminds me a bit of the change from iOS 7 from iOS 6. I don't understand it, but, but anyway. So what we've got then down the left hand side is our app delegate with an outlet already set up to the window which is in the main menu dot uh, zip file here and if I click into the main menu dot zip then we have our main menu set up across the top and if I click on the window here then our window appears in the middle here and I'm just going to reposition this window a little bit and over to the left there because I'm conscious well uh, after doing some practices for this video that I end up with various um, sizing issues with zooming around the screen so I'm just going to drag this in a bit and see if we can make things a little bit better. Good. Okay, so on the right hand side you should have uh, some outlets maybe already like this, or so, but, but a separation, but down the bottom right hand side you'll have sort of what's the objects list here. If not, click on the uh, blue sort of cube here, or maybe it's greyed out when it's not selected. Yes, it is, it's greyed out. So on the blue cube, and then you'll have push button, gradient button, etc, etc. Just scrolling down a little way down the list, you get to the text field, and a little bit below there is something called text view that looks like so. I'm just going to drag and drop one of those into the GUI and make its width. I mean, I'm not trying to win any design awards here for GUI, so just make its width here. And you'll have noticed, by the way, my computer is stuttering whilst recording at the same time. It's never done that before, but with Xcode 5, it does, and I don't know why. And once I've added that text view, I'm just going to add a text field as well here, which is what we'll be using to actually send the command and then just scroll right up to the top of the objects list and drag and drop in a push button. I'm going to call this push button send. If I just double click on it, it should eventually allow me to edit the text. Uh, I'll just position this so it is in the middle. And then I'm also going to drag and drop one more button in here. And I'm going to call this button then start to start the task. Okay, so that's that part of the GUI setup. I just drag this window up a tiny little bit. It's not very complicated. Like I said, it's not going to win any design awards. And now what I want to do, normally I would make, um, I would make, depending on, for, for different sort of groups of, of, of widgets inside a window, I would actually make separate um, classes to behave as controllers for those groups of widgets. But for the sake of brevity now, I'm just going to simply set up some outlets for these widgets inside the appdelegate.h file itself, which is probably fairly bad practice. Certainly I don't do it, but um, uh, like I said, to keep things short and sweet in this one, we'll do it that way. So at the top, I'm just going to turn off the files on the left, turn off the files on the right, or the bars on the right, and now just click in the assistant editor window here. And that's already opened us up in the app delegate.h. You'll see here, I'm just going to resize this slightly so I can see a bit more of the window. And I just want to connect up the parts of the GUI. So the first thing is the buttons. Um, oh, it's moved us into appdelegate.m. I'll just go back into appdelegate.h. Okay, so the first thing I want to set up is um, the start button. So I've got nothing selected at the moment, I'm just going to hold down the control key and then click and hold with the left mouse button, drag into here and you can now see that it's highlighted insert outlet direction. I'm just going to let go of both button and control, uh, mouse button and control key. And at the moment you can see it says connection type is outlet. Well we want action because we want to respond to an action when the button's pressed and we'll do IBA 
because I, it's an IB action, so I always preface with IBA, and we'll call this one start task, except with the correct capitalization. So start task, and I just hit enter for connect. And now I'm going to do the same process with the send button here. I'm going to call this IBA send command, and also make sure I set that as an action and hit connect. Okay, the next thing I want to set up is what are called outlets. So that simply allows us to access the content of these controls here. The first one I'll do from this text field. So again, with the control drag down to here, and it's an outlet, so I'll call it an IBO, and then uh, I'll call it command text. And then I also want to set up one for the text field here, but here it's slightly trickier. If I click on this once, you'll notice on the left hand side now I've got the bordered scroll view selected. So it won't set me an outlet up for the actual text view inside here. If I click again, I get the clip view. And if I click once more, I now get the text view. And here I want to set up my outlet. So I'll control and drag here as well and type um, IBO and we'll call this task output. So it'll allow us from this BF app delegate now to write the output from the task back to this text window here and also we can use this IBO command text to take text from the text view here. Okay, so I'll turn off the assistant editor by just going back to normal here and turn on both of the sidebars as before, like so, and hopefully everything's all right, just about it is and hit save. And that's it then for this video. That's our GOI set up. And in the next video, we can finally start adding our task to the project. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.